hello everyone welcome back to our channel and in the previous video i have demonstrated how to download ind rainfall te uh, data temperature data uh, um, very easily using this ind web portal if you have any queries regarding the same you can actually go to the uh, video that is provided in this uh, description and you can go through it this will be the easiest way to download all the ind data sets so once you download these data sets we need to process all those data sets. So in this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can process IND uh, rainfall data sets and extract all the information out in the required format. So to do that, I'm going to demonstrate it in R platform. So basically like uh, before getting into this uh, R platform, make sure to install R and R and R studio. Only then you will be like able to process these data sets. So once you get to this particular window, you have to install certain packages that is NC uh, ncdf4 which helps you in handling the nc files raster which helps you in dealing with the raster data uh, dplyr which helps you creating csvs and working with csvs ggplot helps you to create plot and sf helps you to deal with the shape files so make sure you install all the packages since i have installed all the packages i'm just loading only those libraries so you can just give library and then cdf it will load the library install packages means you can it will get installed so once this is done we will have the location of this nc file and shape file so make sure you modify both the destination alone this you have to modify it both for your shape file and nc file once these both are modified you can simply click on place the cursor on that particular line and you can click on run so that particular file will get opened and you can see in this uh, environment over here and then similarly i want to load the shape file also i'm just loading the shape file and now i have loaded my nc file and shape file now you have to actually like see what is present in the nc file so to do that i have to actually like open the nc file only then i will be able to process it out so I'm going to NC open and I'm clicking on run. Now you can see here NC data is actually opened. And now we have certain parameters inside NC file because like variables will be of different names. We need to know in what name the data is present. So you can just simply uh, type print NC data. It will actually like get all the variables over here. If you see here, it is actually like the rain is the variable. It has latitude, longitude and time over there. Similarly, like uh, if it is temperature, then this particular uh, rain. No, sorry for the same. In case if it is your uh, T min or T max, this rain will be like changed to T min or T max based on that. But when you try to process the data, make sure to go to print NC variables and check it out. In any other, if you are processing any other NC file also, make sure to check the variables and then you can feed that as an information over here. So in this particular example, I'm extracting the rainfall data. And if you are working with IND rainfall data only, you can follow the same variables if you are downloading the data from uh, the portal that I have shared. And once you have uh, downloaded this data and once I'm processing it, you can just, uh, once you see these variables and confirm it, I'm going to extract the rainfall data out. So rainfall, latitude information and longitude information along with the time because I have to process the daily information. and. Uh, when you take any rainfall data from this particular portal, there will be like minus triple uh, nine values because along the coastal and outside the boundary of India, the values will be minus triple nine. We don't have to deal with those. So I'm just replacing all those minus triple nine with NA. So now I have created my, uh, I actually like removed all those uh, minus triple nine uh, values. Now the only thing is like, I have to create a raster and I have to process it out. So to create a raster, we are creating a brick over there we are using our uh, rainfall data only for all the max la latitude and longitude extent which we have. So from this latitude and longitude, we are taking the X minimum, X maximum, Y minimum and Y maximum. And then like we are taking minimum means minimum of latitude, maximum means maximum of latitude, minimum of longitude and maximum of time. Based on that, it will create a raster. Raster brick means like it creates a raster with all the values of this uh, rainfall. So now I'm just creating this uh, particular raster over there. So now my raster brick is created. If you see this, it will be a very uh, huge file with uh, like uh, you can see here, it is like uh, 366 uh, number of data are present over there. I have downloaded for a particular one year. So 366 data is there. It has 15 rows and 23 columns. So kind of like uh, the information will be like uh, presented. And then what you have to do is like you have to set your origin date and uh, end date. 
so that information also like we will actually like provide when we are downloading the data so we can uh, set our origin and uh, destination uh, date and it will actually like extract the information so in what format we want it to be extracted and basically the download data downloaded is from 31st uh, third, uh, December 2017 so it will automatically pick the dates also and it will take it in the format which we have provided it out and then basically like it gives the uh, dates so since we have mentioned like minus one so that is why like it is taking over there and then now I have all the data sets over there maybe I might have downloaded it for uh, from uh, uh, first uh, of uh, 2018 only so I am just giving the data as like first uh, Jan 2018 so if you just minus one means it will take you back there but make sure it is not over there the origin date is the same so place the date over there and then you can extract the uh, information so this date also you have to modify based on the dates for which you downloaded it and once you create these uh, um, uh, dates you have to create uh, assign those names also to the corresponding uh, um, uh, data so for that also like you are assigning it over here and then now comes the main uh, part so you have your data you have given the date for each and every data sets which is linked to your uh, data and everything is like now assigned now in case if you have a rainfall uh, like a uh, save file for which you have to clip your data then you have to follow these two uh, uh, steps like you have to load your save file and you have to mask it out so in this case i'm just going to first uh, show you uh, without the save file and then i will show you with the save file so then you can see the difference so this is the one i actually like uh, provided the name over here it is in the name of rainfall underscore brick so i have provided the name as rainfall underscore brick it is not clipped as of now so now i'm actually like calculating the mean i'm calculating the mean over here daily mean i'm just doing it and now i'm see getting the database over here so this is the uh, daily uh, rainfall database uh, for the data that i have actually downloaded it includes all over the um, data that i have downloaded it is for nearly like all over tamil nadu so if you see here once i have actually like executed it you can export that particular file uh, to the so location where you want uh, you can simply say like where it which is the file that you have to export this is the one which i'm going to export and in which uh, destination you want it you can put it in like any uh, place where it is uh, to be saved out and you can simply click on this uh, run button so it will automatically get saved over there you can go to your uh, 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 data here and you can find like uh, daily mean rainfall So this data will be easily getting upload uh, like mean data will be getting uh, updated over here easily you can download all these uh, data sets and then if you need to close the data you can close the data and uh, if i need to plot this same as an image so now i'm going to just simply like this is just an example i'm just going to plot it out and uh, show you so since uh, this is for tamil nadu i will change the region as uh, tamil nadu and sources from imd yeah so you can see here this is a daily rainfall uh, mean rainfall for tamil nadu so this is the this is how the um, uh, data is for tamil nadu for the year 2018 so in case if i have to actually download uh, like extract it only for velu you can see the difference over here now you can you can export it also you can export it save as an image over here whatever the uh, way you want you can just uh, save it out and then it will automatically get uh, saved so the location also we have to uh, describe you can provide like which uh, directory it is like record i'll put it in my desktop and then i can uh, save it so it will automatically get stored in my desktop so in case if i want it to be actually like uh, taken it to i want to cut it for i want to clip it for my shape file then you have to load this I'm going to uh, read my shape file and then I'm going to clip it for my shape file. You will please make sure that the data is in WGS84 and latitude longitude coordinate because the uh, IMD data will be in latitude longitude coordinate. So now I'm going to clip the rainfall data and in this particular case you have to change your rainfall brick. This uh, alone like you have to change it out 
if clipping data so once i clipped it out i'm just going to click on run button it calculates all the stats you can calculate mean sum whatever you want you can calculate it out and then i'm plotting the mean mean i'm going to write it out if you want i can uh, write it over there then i'm going to plot the image so now if you see this is for uh, velour i'll change the region also as velour Region is uh, velour. So yeah. So now you can see this is for velour. I am just going to export the same uh, to the desktop. So this is uh, uh, for velour. Okay. Now I have saved my image. If I go to my uh, desktop and uh, if I see the images over there. So this is for uh, velour and. This is uh, for Tamil Nadu. So Velur and Tamil Nadu, both the data sets are actually like uh, provided over there. So this is the way how we can actually like uh, uh, plot our data. You can modify all these uh, symbologies, like whatever the way we want to present your data, you can modify it out. And in case like if you want to actually like uh, uh, clip it out or don't clip it out, that is up to you. And in case if some other analysis has to be performed, please mention in the comments below so that like I will uh, uh, provide you the um, way or I'll provide you with the codes or I even I can upload a video how to uh, mm, process all those data set based on your own uh, requirements. I hope this video is uh, useful to you. Make sure to share with uh, all your friends and subscribe to our channel for more updates.